Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing an updated house tour for you guys, and this is my house that I'm living in in college. It's my sophomore year, and I have a house this year with three other girls. So we have a very, very old house, but we've kind of dealt with it and tried to spruce it up a little bit to make it look cuter and a little bit more homey, I guess if you can say. I do have a tour of it before we did anything to it, like an empty house tour right before we, when I first moved in. So I will link that down below and also up here so you guys can go ahead and watch that and see kind of the transformation of how it looks because I think it looks so much better now that things are moved in and we bought some decorations and stuff like that and I think it's really cute. Something else I have not yet mentioned on my channel is that I got a cat. I adopted a cat from the Humane Society while I was in school um, about like two weeks ago or so and she's the cutest thing in the entire world so you're probably going to see her a little bit throughout this tour she likes to follow me around a little bit so if you see her her name is Lucy and she's really really adorable um, I just love her so much so she might be in this video a little bit so without further ado let's go ahead and get started in the house tour so not a whole lot has changed when you first walk in the front door is behind me and then we put this little picture of a pineapple up here on the wall that's from Hobby Lobby and it's really cute. I have the same one in my room actually, um, but I really liked it so we got two. And then over here we just hung up this little key here that just holds all of our keys, but nobody else is home right now, so that's why no one else's keys are here. And then up on this wall by the steps we put a Penn State flag just because it's festive, you know. So that's basically all we really have done in this hallway. There's not a whole lot else that has changed in here. But then we'll go into our family room, and this is what it looks like now. It's really cute, and there's the kitty. Hey, Lucy! Um, so, we still have this picture up on the wall that was here when we moved in. I added this pillow and blanket set here, and then another one of the girls brought this white blanket. And then we bought this. Um, flower vase it's really pretty it's white and gold from Hobby Lobby with some fake flowers and then these little candle holders also from Hobby Lobby we have two of them and some cat toys and then over here since fall is coming I just put a few fall things out so we have like a little pumpkin wire pumpkin here and then a little owl candle from Bath and Body Works oh I also hung up these lights up here they're not on right now but they're just like little they're in my they were in my room at home um, they're like little rose detailed lights from Target I believe and I need to plug them in. I need an extension cord to reach the plug and then so I can plug them in. But that's everything that we really did in here. I love the gold and white that we are trying to go with. It's really pretty. Um, so when you walk in here, this is our dining room. I think the last empty house tour that I did, we didn't have this table yet. We had this table still, but one of the girls brought this table and it's a lot nicer and sturdier. So this is from her house. She brought it and I just brought these placemats to put on there. I think they're really cute. They're from Walmart. And this is our fish. Let's see if I can find him in here. He's a beta fish. His name is Okiko. There he is. Hi, Okiko. He's a little SpongeBob pineapple, but we had to put plastic wrap on his tank because the cat likes to drink out of it and it's not good for her. So that's where Okiko lives. And then I just got these really cute salt and pepper shakers for fall from Walmart. It's an acorn and a pumpkin. I think they're adorable. So. I'm obsessed with that. I've been trying to decorate for fall more lately, so we're working on it. Hey, baby kitty. So then we just moved the old table over to here, and we kind of like have it as like our male junk table. Um, as you can tell, it's not very organized in any way, but some people can do homework here and stuff like that. But we also have another one of these pumpkins that I got from the Target dollar spot. So cute stuff. Oh, I almost forgot these. These are from TJ Maxx. There actually used to be three white mirrors, but one fell and broke when we were putting them up. So this is what we have now. Um, they're just like two sets of these cute little mirrors. We just needed something to put up on this wall. So we got those. They're pretty cute and they were super inexpensive TJ Maxx. Like I think the set of three was like seven or eight dollars. So that was a really good deal. And then over here, one of the girls brought this sign that is also very cute. I think it's also from Hobby Lobby. And then this is also from Hobby Lobby that another one of the girls brought, just like a big picture. Then when you walk in here, we have our kitchen. What we've got in here is we got this sign from Hobby Lobby. It just says eat because, you know, it's the kitchen. We have a million and one dishes that are drying right now because we eat so much. Um, we have, oops, we have like our cleaning supplies for like dishes and stuff in this little basket. And then some dishcloths, 
and soap and stuff like that. Paper towels up there. Um, we have a coffee maker. This is just a hand towel. There's some coffee in there. We have some vinegar because we are trying to catch some fruit flies. And then this is just a cup we had that we just put some of like the cooking utensils and stuff in. So that's that. Um, I guess I'll show you guys quickly what's in the drawers and stuff. This drawer is packed full. This has forks, spoons, and knives in it. And then like ice cream scoop and measuring cups back here. Can opener, some knives and a peeler, more measuring cups. Um, a bunch of like big knives, a fortune cookie, some kitchen shears, and then like some dry erase markers and stuff. So, very full drawer. This one has a lot of more cooking utensils in here, some like, oven mitts. There's a bunch in here. I got this one really cute for fall from Walmart. Um, measuring cups, drying racks, things like that are down there. And then this last one just has some ice cube trays with some aluminum foil and then some cutting boards down there. Under here is just a big mess of cleaning supplies and paper towels and bags and dish towels and just random, random stuff. So back in there. This cabinet has most of our dishes that we use, so we have all of our plates and bowls, um, cups and cups and mugs and so there's that one. And then this just has more bowls and more mugs, I think. Yeah, oh and there are a couple smaller plates up there. We bought a trash can for over there. And then on this side, we have our refrigerator and our laundry. This is our refrigerator and freezer. We put a little chore chart up here to kind of like decide who's gonna be cleaning what that week. And we got these really cute magnets with each of our initials from Hobby Lobby for like $2, so they're really cute. Um, we have a bunch of coupons over here. Up there, it's just like some extra paper towels and toilet paper and cleaning supplies and laundry stuff. And then if you want a quick peek at how full our fridge is, this is all of our stuff, so, and this, that's a makeshift shelf down there, and then so much food everywhere, so it's really, really full, there's not much room for anything else, but we're hungry girls. Um, that's everything, I think, here in the kitchen, so now we'll go ahead and go into the pantry, which is right off of here. It probably looks very messy in here, but I promise there's, like, organization in our minds to everything where it is, so we have these two shelves, one here and one here that holds food. Um, this one is actually my shelf, so I have my food up here and here, and then we kind of put like pots and pans and more like cooking stuff down there. And then on this one, we have these two shelves are one of the girls' food, and then the bottom two are another girl's food. So that's, their whole shelf is food. And then we actually have this cabinet above our stove that holds more food for my other roommate so we all have little sections for our food so we don't really get mixed up and we all have our own stuff so that's kind of nice this is our stove um this cute little spoon rest i got it's actually kind of dirty i got from michael's for super cheap and i really love it so good purchase we have some salt pepper and some seasoning and then just an oven you know pretty basic and then over here we have our we have like a little tray desk thing here with our microwave with some more stuff on top of it and our toaster oven is here and then in these cabinets we just have a bunch of like pans and things to like cook in pots and pans and yeah dishes things like that a crock pot i think there's a mixer up there actually so pretty handy stuff we use all that stuff a lot Okay, so then in these cabinets here, I don't know how to show you because I can't back up that much, but we have these really tall cabinets that go to the ceiling, and then there's more storage down there. So these come in handy a lot for um, <laughs> random stuff. It looks really messy in here, and it kind of is, but like, there's kind of an organization to it. Up here, um, but actually this, this just has random stuff up here. Bowls and mugs and Tide Pods and bowl and whatnot. This is my laundry stuff, and I also have like plastic wrap, um, aluminum foil, bags trash bags and then over here is one of the girls size with all her Tupperware and stuff and then there's more Tupperware and then this is my Tupperware which looks a little messy so that's the two big cabinets here and then in these drawers we just have like plastic like throwaway stuff and silverware and then I don't, I don't think that there's anything down here oh, I guess there is more there's some bowls down here and a George Foreman thing and then this just holds like extra I can't open extra plastic bags 
for like trash bags and stuff. And then in here we keep our cleaning supplies. So we have a Swiffer, there's extra paint and like a vacuum and a broom in here. And then another vacuum out here. So that's basically our whole pantry here. That door leads to our basement, but we're not going in that because it's really terrifying down there. We can go look upstairs and see what has changed up there. So there's really not much of a difference up here um, besides like our rooms and everything, but I'm not really gonna go into my roommate's rooms because it's their space. And I already have a room tour for my room. So if you wanna see that, I'll link it in the description, but I will show you our bathroom because I think it's really cute. Um, first of all, we have this little sign here that I drew, just a chalkboard and it says women because you know, it's all girls living here. So it's really cute. And then we kind of went with like a blue theme. This is our shower curtain that one of the girls brought and I think it's really, really cute. Like blue and white, whatever you call this pattern. This is another picture that one of the girls brought that doesn't exactly match our theme, but like it was here before we got the shower curtain and everything, so it's okay. But then we did get these cute hand towels. They're also blue and white. They're from Walmart. They're really cute and soft and I love them. We got a toothbrush holder for our toothbrushes. We have our Bath and Body Works Cool Coconut Colada soap. And then our toilets just back here. And then we have these drawers that we keep random bathroom stuff in. And then under there, we just keep like more toilet paper and cleaning supplies for the bathroom. And then I will just kind of go ahead and show you how we organized the shower a little bit with four girls. We all have some shelves and it basically it worked out really well. Like we're not really tight on the space. We all have our stuff in particular spots, so it's not really a problem for any of us, which is good. So that's the whole bathroom, and then I'll just go ahead and show you. This is one of my roommate's rooms right here. I'm not really going to go in because, like I said, it's not my space. This is Courtney's room. This one's my room. It's a little bit messy right now, but I do have a full room tour up, so if you want to see that, please go ahead and watch it. I really love how my room turned out when it's not messy, um, but I think it's really cute. And then we have like this little weird area here that leads into our attic, which is Allie's room. So that is the completed house tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you have any more ideas for what we could do to help decorate. There are quite a few empty walls still, like upstairs has nothing. And downstairs there are a few things that could look a little bit better than they do. So let me know if you guys have any ideas that are like not super expensive and would be cute in my house. So once again, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.